two-day annual science exhibition held at St. Agnes Convent School in Haflong. St. Agnes Convent School, Haflong, hosted its annual Today Science exhibition on August 13th and 14th at the school premises. The exhibition saw enthusiastic participation from a large number of students. Themed, Sustainable Development and Solutions for Tomorrow, students showcased projects addressing global challenges and their sustainable solutions. The event attracted many parents who admired the innovative projects presented by students across all grades. They praised the students' creativity and knowledge, expressing gratitude for the opportunity to witness their work. Senior students showcased projects on sustainable development, including renewable energy sources, solar-powered smart cities, clean drinking water initiatives, and automatic drip irrigation systems. Middle school students focused on topics like climate change and health, while primary students explored fundamental scientific concepts. My project is a smart irrigation system. Hai. We drain detector and sensor. So when the soil is dry, at that time, this soil, this Arduino, you know, gets the signal that the soil is dry. So it gives signal to the relay module. Then the relay module turns on the pump, and the pump gives water to the soil. But it should be done manually right now because the soil is too much moist, so we can't do it right now automatically. So we can see that the LED light is not, it's not blinking right now because there is not enough moisture in the plant and it says it is referring that it, it, it needs more water in the plant but when I put it in the water <coughs> the LED light is blinking it refers that there is enough moisture in the water and so we don't need to water the plant again and we have seen that while we like water the plant at our home after some time when it rains the, there is wastage of water and also the if it happens occasionally the plant dies so for that to prevent that we have used this rain sensor module so when we put water in this it detects the rain as you can see, when we put the water in this, the LED light turned on. So it gives signal to the Arduino that it is, that it is raining and to turn off the whole system. That uh, because of the rain, the rain will water the plant by itself. So we don't need to water it separately. And also, we have seen that we can use these projects in small farm, in small gardens or residential lots. But um, we have designed this project mainly for big farming areas because as we have seen, to set up this type of project in the big farming areas, we need more for, uh, more money. It's quite expensive. So, but for this project, we have mainly designed this project to be installed in big farms uh, affordably and with less cheap prices. And uh, this can reduce human efforts and this can increase uh, farming efficiency. And this can also reduce water wastage in farming sector because as we know, there is more water, water wastage in the farming sectors. This can be also used in the residential lawns, gardening, and also in our home gardens. But mainly, we have designed this project for the big farming areas. Thank you. My name is Anushka Gimere, and I'm from class 9. And this is my teammate, Yashita Das. And we have three more people in our team, but they have went there down. So together, we are Team Waterwise. These are the windmills. Windmills can be used for generating electricity for homes. These are the gardens for food and plants. This is the pond of recycled water. Waste water from homes are naturally cleaned and reused in ponds. It can be used for inhabitants of fish and plants. And here is the irrigation canal. It connects the pond and then these, these two are connected by the irrigation canal so that it can be used for fields. This is called the rainwater harvesting system. Rainwater is collected from rooftops and are stored in tanks. These are the waste disposal unit. This is a biodegradable waste where food and plants are thrown here. And this is the non-biodegradable waste where plastics and other paper are thrown here. This is the vermicompost pit where food waste are turned into fertilizers by earthworms.
and can be used in irrigating fields. So, what is your name? My name is Marcy Lalan Kali What's your class? Class 6. Okay. Uh, uh, this is uh, St. Ignace Higher Secondary School and today we organize an annual science exhibition program. We call them as a science flora and this is annually held every year in our school and today and this year our team of the school is uh, for the science project is sustainable solution for a better tomorrow and this science project we have the categories of three the, uh, the junior the sub junior uh, the sub senior and uh, senior and these remarks we also calculated in an internal assessment and all this project that we have done today is through creative innovative and for self-learning educations and the student have promoted these for their better futures and for gaining better knowledge and all these outcomes is from their selves and from the parents hard works and all the collaborations of the school institutions we thanks all the parents for initiating with us collaborating with all the social media as well thank you